Next at Loxton Ag Tech Field Days, we have Dominic. Would you like to take us through what you're displaying here at the uh, at the field day? Sure, sir. Thank you very much. So, I'm Dominic from Greenbrain. We do a range of soil moisture monitoring equipment and weather stations, that sort of thing. Um, we try and give you the option to deploy, use whatever sensor type or sensor configurations are ideal for your particular property, whether it's gyps and blocks and soil moisture tension, as Mark was talking about earlier, um, which is what we've got demonstrated out here, or any of the commonly sold capacitance probes. We're integrating them in, sending them through to Greenbrain, which is a really simple uh, user interface to view the data. If anyone's after more complicated, more complex, fancy predictions and services and things like that, we've got an open API that is then able to feed the data to Swan Systems, to Mana Irrigation, to Sarah's Imagery, um, you name it. There's, we're even looking after all of the racetrack um, soil moisture monitoring in Victoria. Um, so we've got that API to send the data out to any other use case. Can you just explain to us how the setup is actually out in the field, how that actually works? Yeah, so there's sensors, either weather station sensors in the air or soil moisture sensors down in the ground. They tend to be cabled up to something like this, which would be a cellular logger. So it's a little solar power, solar panel inside that little logger that powers the unit, measures the sensor, takes the reading and then connects via the CAT M1 network to the cloud where data is brought into Greenbrain and uploaded sort of in real time so the growers can see what's going on. Excellent. And the uh, the APIs that you're talking about, was that a, um, a decision from the outset to make sure it could actually work in with other systems and, and sort of push them forward? Uh, the outset was 1984, so I don't think anyone could spell API back then. Um, it was certainly a decision that I thought was quite important. Um, we, we weren't ever going to build every connection to every service in the um, in the industry what everyone sort of wants and in the formats that they wanted so the easier way to make all of that sort of flexibility available was to make the data available for everyone who's doing a very specific and a really good job at some of those those things so it was an early decision yeah but it wasn't at the outset yeah. uh, Dominic thank you no problem. thanks